And one extra ash brown, please. Ooh. That's it, thank you. That's my kid, Sean, look. <laughs> Good morning from Yorkshire again with Mike and Sean again two weekends in a row we're back on uh, on there well not there long someone else has landed he's going to join us in a bit but we're going to see if we can find some Roman stuff today apparently so uh, let's go well I've come straight over to the trig point not had a single signal on the way here beautiful views though finally this is a ropey signal um, and it's a cheapo carabiner off someone's key ring probably nothing exciting Reynolds finally got a signal we're, uh, we're all going to record this one because this might be the, the only signal in the day I'm not getting excited about it but signal's a signal bump <laughs> shot what's uh, we only get any guesses. Coke. Coke. Big Gazza with his uh, nice new buoyets on. That sounds terrible. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm no expert, but. I'm not even recording it. You're upsetting me. No, this has got a signal as well. That's a crotal bell or something that comes up. I'm gonna flash me <laughs> on your camera, this guy. <laughs> yeah, the top of It's gonna be small, whatever it is. I can't be. Lordy Lord, Mikey boy's just had a Roman, he reckons he's got another one in the same hole. So, it is a, another toasty old coin I would say, it's a, another bit of Roman coin maybe. Cheers, he got two Roman in one goal. This is my first coin, solid 70s and 80s, could be two shilling I think. Fancy that. Flipping egg. Two shilling. Well, it's a coin, isn't it? Reynolds has had a Roman silver. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at that. 2,000 year old silver coin. Well, I've dropped it again. Find by the metal detecting channel. <laughs> Oh, is that yours? Yeah. Well, yeah. I thought it was his. No, it was mine. Oh, it's Mike's. Oh, I apologise. I thought it was Reynolds. <laughs> I love it, right? Not sure where them will have gone. They've disappeared somewhere. I'm down to this lovely little spot by the river. I might get in there with me wellies. I've not found a great deal so far. But we need to carry on. Beautiful. This is my first find in ages. Solid 90. Opened it up and it's right there. And we've got a crusty Georgian copper coin. Couldn't tell you who or what. Certainly isn't Roman. I don't think it is anyway. Yep, let's crack on. Next up, solid 91. Open her up and we've got a bullet case, I think. Oh. Oops, don't know what that is, or was, I was getting my brass scrap. You know it's not your day when you're opening up a hole, you see a round silver disc and you realise it says tear off on it. Absolute git. Next up a very rare, nice signal, solid 91, got it out of the hole, it's 92. Could be something good, could be something cack. Let's have a look together. Oh, you're having a laugh. Modern 1p. What are the chances on that? 
it's fine for me, this was coming in the 80s. Thought, oh, it's gonna be another bit of flipping coat. Oh, I don't know what this is. Anyone got any ideas? Is it some sort of buckle? Is it a Roman buckle? Let me clean this up. Come back to you. Well, I've got me clean. Definitely looks old. Uh, I couldn't tell you what, what age. If anyone's got any ideas, let me know. Yeah, let's carry on. Lovely views, really different feel now. We've had lunch. We've got a solid 91. Don't know what it is. Let's have a look together. Oh, it's a little, little silver sixpence, look. 1928. Yeah, I don't mind that. Better than a slap. Here comes trouble. <laughs> Tiny calves. Next up, mid tone, 70s and 80s. Thought, so, yeah, cow tube. I think I've got myself a lead bag seal. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I'll give it a little clean up and I'll come back. Give it a little clean, 100% definitely a lead uh, bag seal. Oh, there's something on it, but I can't really read it. Or whatever, but yeah, I might have it out with spade and all. Idiot, we're gonna come and say hello to it all. See you in a minute. Reynolds has had a thimble, so he says the copper one, all brass. You love thimbles, don't you? I know. <laughs> Not another one inside it, is he? No, nope. just a one. What's the sheep doing down there? Looking up, looking up at the sky. Look. What you seen? Come on. Just enjoying the sun, aren't you? <laughs> this is my next signal, and it's looking like a pocket watch. We've got the, uh, is it called a bezel? The outside bit. And this is the, the main bit. Thought I might have something on there, but it's complete garbage. Well, it's 100% a pocket watch. Shame it's not gold or silver, but never mind. Catching up with Reynolds, seeing what he's had today. He's had a few buckle things. This looks like a half a medieval key, maybe. Who knows? Oh, that's a drink. A couple of buttons, the thimble, a modern one P. Some bullets. Some bullets. Poor day for you, that is, isn't it? Oh, hey. Mike and Sean's had it all. Mike and Sean have had it all. What Paul's got his good here for it's uh, Yeah, it's so you don't need LEDs anymore then? Yeah, you see stuff on his own, but he's also in town. So we come from the store like And then I went to do advanced nurse. What a fine yeah. figure of a man. And I went into critical care for this thing's going in a bit, I think. So, do that. Uh... What you got? What is it? I don't know. Some kind of mount. A decorative mount. For summit. Fish on for Mike. Oh, Mikey boy's having issues with his mine lab. Meanwhile, the XP munching up the coins. Although I haven't been munching much today. Off of my cobs. Well, it looks like I've got an eighth penny here. Can't get the soil out. No, it's just a beat up half penny. 
I don't know, George Smith maybe. Next signal for me. It's coming in around 86, 87. And it is one of those, which I have no idea what it is. Yep. Another coin, looking like the same again. Christy half penny or summit. Nothing exciting. Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's probably a George V or George VI half penny. Little coin ball for the great coin beast. I reckon the one pence. Silver. All day. Oh. <laughs> Next signal for me coming up is around a 91. It's looking round, it's looking lead. Possibly another bag seal. Maybe. I do believe that's what that is. Another bag seal. Right. The old mine lab doing bits for Reynolds. Is that a coin? What you got? Crusty green something. No I'd go with button on that one, I'm afraid. Another coin for Reynolds and his Equinox. <coughs> it's a smooth 1902. Edward VII, freshly scraped. Oh, I've caught it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're calling it a day. Thanks, Paul, for letting us on your permission. Uh, I ain't find a great deal. They've all had some good stuff, but uh, that's the way it goes. See you on the next one. Day's graft for not a lot. I like this. Sean's best find at date, probably. I think it's a uh, Bronze Age axe head. A couple of thousand years old, probably three or four thousand years old. Pretty cool. So here are my finds from the Roman site today with Mike, Sean, Reynolds, Paul, uh, Carl and the other guy, I can't remember his name. It was a really good day, a tough day, didn't find a great deal but I always say if I find a bit of silver or something to go in my display cabinet then it's a good day so yeah, not the, not the most amount of finds for me but I don't mind that. They all had some, some Roman coins and stuff which is good. Um, so I got a two shilling, a couple of half pennies, a crusty Georgian, modern spendable, not sure what that thing is, probably end up chucking it. I uh, got a couple of lead bag seals, which I don't mind finding. Uh, got a bit of a star on that one, which is cool. I could touch that one with my spade, unfortunately. I uh, got a little silver sixpence, uh, it's had a bit of a, bit of a polish, because I like to clean them up a bit. And then we think this is... This is Roman, um, off a horse, it's like horse harness or something, not 100% sure, but they all seem to think so, yeah, I'll uh, catch you on the next one.